church say amen. amen. Come on, say amen again. Come on, clap those holy hands. If you can stand to your feet, my soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My Uh, version of it. You 
notice that he then mentioned that they were waving the palms, but this is still uh, in that particular frame, they were uh, waving the palm branches as we look on uh, today, Palm Sunday. Um, if I can use for a thought today, uh, because you notice uh, some of the people had a problem with them uh, praising the Lord. Uh, telling him to tell your disciples uh, to hold their peace. And I think uh, if the noise was too much for them, they should have put a, some earplugs in their ear. <laughs> but, but we're going to talk about today, uh, your praise is next necessary. Your praise is necessary. Your praise is necessary. Let us pray. Tell Father, we thank you for this word, oh God. We thank you because you said that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. We ask, oh God, that you would just remove me so far from the cross, that these our people would be blessed, oh God. Now let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. You may be seated. Lord. Praise is necessary. In the text, we read that uh, Jesus told two of his disciples to go and to find this coat, find this uh, donkey that he was to make his triumph entry into Jerusalem. Uh, as you have heard in your hearing that uh, the owner did not really resist it, but he asked in so many words, uh, why are you messing with my whip? <laughs> Amen. And, 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 and the Lord told him that if anyone asks, uh, just tell them that the Lord have need of it. All right. All right. All right. You must remember that everything belongs to God. That's right. The Bible says, Sister Nash, that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And the Bible tells us that he owns the cattle in a thousand hills. Preach that. All right. All right. But, but here showed his dominion by cousin Ricky sending for sending for a donkey that was far away. One that had never been wrote the scripture tells us the donkey, even when Jesus got on it and he has never been wrote, the donkey did not buck, he did not hee haw. And you know if some of you understand about horses that have never been written Rope, they have to be broken in. Right. But he didn't he haul the, 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 the horse then jump and, and, and the thing of it also the owner did not refuse. Right. Right. That's right. When he heard that the Lord has need of. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. So you see, God is in full control. And, and he is worthy of your praise. I'm not dealing with the fact that the crowd was saying, uh, Keisha, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest on Wednesday. And then come Friday, they were saying, crucify him. All right. All right. Isn't that just like black folk? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here in our text, we learn that the Pharisees had a problem with them praising the Lord. Some of y'all know you have folk like that because uh, when church was really uh, in full swing before the pandemic, how we had evening church uh, service and, and, and Tuesday night and, and, and all of that. And some of your relatives would tell you that it doesn't take all of that. I say it all the time. Everyone that comes to 
to your celebration is not happy for you. Right. Preach right. faster than that. Right. We even have it in the church when praises is going on and others are looking like they have lost their mind. I don't know about you, but I got to praise him. I got to praise him because God has been too good for me to me. And some of you don't know what he has brought me through and what he has took me over. He has took me through some mountains. And even as I walk through the valley, God was with me. Ah, some of you don't know what I have been through. And Jesus tells the Pharisees that if the disciples held their peace, then he said the rocks would immediately cry out. All right. All right. And I don't know about you, Pastor Woods, but I don't need a rock to cry out for me. I don't even need a crowd when it comes to me praising the Lord. I can praise him by myself. Sometimes I find myself in the house by myself just lifting my hands up and saying, thank you, Jesus. Oh, if you can't think about nothing that God has done for you. So I would say, well, I pray sometimes. Pray is talking to him, but praise is just telling him how much you adore him and you lift him up. The Bible says that the Lord inhabits the praise of the people. Amen. That's why he told them, if you wouldn't praise me, that the rocks would cry out. And, and if the Lord inhabits the praise, you know what that means? If he inhabits the praise of you, that means the Lord, you know, he lives in your praise. Amen. Praise will produce a lot of things in you. I don't know about y'all, but every time I go through something, I find a praise down on the inside of me. Have you ever been through something and then you think about the goodness of God and then you say, it ain't as bad as I thought it was because the only thing I have to do is look to the hills from whence come my help. Come on, say my help. So I find a praise on the inside of me because you know what? The devil don't like it when you praise the Lord. See, praise will confuse the enemy. Learn how to praise the Lord before you go through something. When they was going through that with the walls of Jericho, he told them to walk around the building six times. On the seventh time, the walls would, 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 would fall when they sent out a shout. Learn how to praise the Lord. Amen. Some folk, folk are like the Pharisees. They have a problem with us praising Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when I was working, uh, it was some guys on my job, and, and, and they would ask me, uh, do you go to one of those churches where they be doing all of that clapping and, and shouting and and, and so I, I said, yeah, I, I go to one of them churches. I'm from the noisy crowd. Yes, I am. Yes, sir. But the same folk have a problem with us praising God in church. They will watch a football game, drink a little beer, and shout like they have the Holy Ghost. Amen. See, the problem is, when people try to cut off your praise from God, they want to be the center of your joy. But I'm sorry to tell you, my mama, my wife, my children is not the center of my joy. Jesus is. Yeah. Yeah. And you better watch those folk who are quiet. <laughs> they won't praise and they're quiet. But you better watch them because when they finally open up their mouth voluntarily you know what you'll be surprised what come out of their mouth <laughs> so you see God is the only one that is worthy of our praise I'm getting ready to call and listen your praise 
is the only thing that you can voluntarily give to God. You can't, you don't have nothing else to offer God right. but your praise. Amen. Nothing else. Amen. Your money, Amen. how good you acted. Right, that's right. Amen. You don't have nothing else to offer him but your praise. He said, let everything that have breath do what? That's the only thing you have to offer oh, oh, oh God. God desires that you give him praise. Amen. That's why he told them if they hush uh, uh, up the folk, that the rocks would cry out. Amen. That's right. That's right. I like the psalmist that said that I will bless the Lord at all times. Mm -hmm. And he says that his praise will continually be where? In my mouth. See, if some of you learn how to keep a praise in your mouth, you will stop all of that cussing and lying and backbiting on folk. I, I, I'm, I'm talking about them over at Reverend Yancey Church. Y'all hear me? So that tells me that you have a right to praise him. And he desires praise from each and every one of us. Amen. In my conclusion, I want to say that I got to praise him. Because right right. he's been too good to me. Amen. I got to praise him. Because when I woke up this morning, I had my mind stayed on Jesus. I got to praise him. Because when I woke up this morning, I was able, y'all, to wave my hand. I got to praise him. Because he's been so into the church and praise him. But the Bible says that everything, everything that has breath, praise the Lord. I can see the folk on Palm Sunday. They will wave their palms. Hosanna, Hosanna.
going to get a benediction. May the Lord watch between me and thee while we're absent one from another. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Come on, sing it together. Ah, man, you are dismissed.